This short video will explain how to select and mark potential crop trees before a broadleaf woodland is thinned for the first time, using a very simple method that everyone can use in their own woodland. We call it the two-stick method. When a broadleaf stand is thinned for the first time, an essential part of this operation is to select and mark potential crop trees. So how do we recognise a potential crop tree? Potential crop trees are the best trees of those that are available. They are disease free, have good stem form, good vigour and are evenly distributed throughout the stand. I will now demonstrate the two stick method. To begin, we need two sticks. Standing between two rows of trees, I place one stick into the ground. I then count 20 planting positions. One, two, three. Any planting positions with a missing tree should also be counted. 19, 20. When you reach the 20th planting position, you place the second stick. Next, I walk back up the rows and select potential crop trees on either side. The number of potential crop trees or PCTs that you'll need to mark is dependent on the species of tree and on the initial stocking density. For example, 5 to 6 PCTs should be marked in sycamore that was planted at 2,500 stems per hectare, whilst 4 to 5 PCTs should be marked if the stocking was 3,300 stems per hectare. For more information, I recommend that you download the silvicultural guidelines for the tending and thinning of broadleaves from the Chagas Forestry website chagas.ie slash forestry. When considering a tree as a PCT, it's important to look at it from two perpendicular angles. The reason that I look at a tree from two perpendicular angles is because from one angle a tree can look perfect, but looking from a second angle you can see a bend or a lean in a stem that is otherwise not possible to be seen. You should mark your PCTs with a ring of paint so that they can be seen from all directions. When I get back to my first stick, I turn around and start marking two competitors per PCT and disease trees. These trees should be marked with three spots of paint of a different colour to that used for the PCTs. When you reach the second stick, continue past it and start counting 20 planting positions on one side and continue the process as before. One, two. By using the two stick method to mark potential crop trees and their competitors, you will ensure that the correct number of PCTs are marked and that they are evenly distributed throughout the stand. After a short time marking trees using the two stick method, you'll find that it becomes easier and you may be able to do it without using the two sticks, just marking the trees up and down the lines as you go. So get out into your woodlands, mark those good trees, it's well worth the effort.